Yo, what up, Family Night Jam? Welcome back to the Soul Players. I'm the host of the most in this place, Case. Mr. Governor 420, baby. Coming back at you guys with another one. Check it out, blood. So, Mr. Tuck Carlson can't understand why the fuck Democrats are kicking Republican ass all throughout this election. Like, for reals, even Republicans are noticing, like, dude, Democrats are coming in a hard fucking way, blood. You get what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are lining up and fucking signing up to vote like a motherfucker. So let's go ahead and see this corporate demon sex lady motherfucker's reaction. Blood. <clears throat> Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. For all the bad things going on, there are on the other side Joe Biden's approval ratings, which are a nonstop source of joy for us. And if you've seen them recently, you know in your heart exactly how the November elections are going to turn out. Biden's obviously been a disaster for the country. But not only has he made the U.S. poorer, weaker, and much more ridiculous, people know that he has. And they tell pollsters about it all the time. Biden is the single least popular president in modern American history. At this point, absolutely nobody is impressed by Joe Biden, and that would be including Dr. Jill. So this is a big problem for the Biden family, obviously, but a much bigger problem even for the Democratic Party, which Joe Biden leads. Unpopular presidents drag their parties to the bottom in midterm elections. That's the unchanging rule of politics. You saw it famously in 1994 with the Republican takeover of Congress after two disastrous years with Bill Clinton. You saw it in 2006 after Hurricane Katrina. You saw it in 2010 after Obamacare. You saw it in 2018. So there's no question based on precedent that that's about to happen once again in 2022 in November. That's what everybody assumes. And in fact, it may well happen. We're certainly praying for it. But as of tonight, we have to be honest with you. The numbers don't show that happening. Not even close. <laughs> I like that switch. He's like, yeah, Joe Biden's proof names are at fucking basically negative 1,050. But yet at the same time, the numbers are showing that Democrats are continuously out voting. Fucking <laughs> in fact, all the indications we have right now suggest that despite oh, Joe Biden's oh, well-earned unpopularity, the Democratic Party still, again, as of tonight, has a strong chance of holding Congress in November. <laughs> Let me explain to this dumb motherfucker what's going on in this place, Cades. Joe Biden's numbers are low because we are woke. We're not dumb corporate zombie sex slave motherfuckers who just go along with our leader's fucking bullshit. The motherfucker said we're supposed to get stimulus checks for around what, 2,200 was it was, and he cut us short? We remember that shit. And your fucking numbers are going down for that shit, bitch. And then we wanted uh, the child tax credit to be extended. And couldn't get that shit done because Christian Cinema's corporate bitch ass. You see, that's the thing. Us Dems, we can see the corporate parasite motherfuckers. And we see the people that we need to get the fuck up out of our goddamn party. Because we got shit we need to do and get done. You know what I mean? We got street lights to be fixed. We got potholes to be filled. We got free college to pass around and healthcare to pass around to those poor Americans on the street. You dig what I'm saying? We got a lot of shit to do. And these corporate demon parasite useless motherfuckers like Christian Cinema and Joe Manchin are just standing in our motherfucking way. You get what I'm saying? And here's what Mr. Tucker Carlson and the rest of the corporate demons need to understand. <clears throat> Is that Joe Biden could use his presidential authority to go and fucking kick some cinema ass and some Joe Manchin ass. But he doesn't. He likes to play fucking nice and shit. And we don't need that on our side. So yeah, his numbers are down. But at the same time... We are still voting for, outvoting the motherfucking Republicans by a lot. By a whole fucking lot. A whole lot of people are voting Democrat right now. Why is that? Because Republicans appear evil. Everybody sees them as fucking hateful, evil, greedy motherfuckers. They're basically becoming woke. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And everybody's starting to see for uh, Republicans for exactly what they are. Evil, lying, greedy pieces of shit. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. Everybody can see who you are now, baby. Everybody's fucking waking up to the truth. You know what I mean? We need tax for the basils. We need free college, free health care in this place and shit like that. You know what I mean? We gotta get it done, baby. And corporate demon sex lay parasite useless motherfuckers. Their ideas of giving tax cuts to the rich just ain't panning out for Americans anymore. Tuck, you fucking useless corporate parasite piece of shit loser motherfucker. 
So guess what, Tucker Carlson? Get ready to get taxed, you stupid fucking bitch. Because the Democrats, even though Joe Biden is losing his number, because that's the thing. Republicans can't understand why. How come Democrats don't follow Joe Biden like a king? Like we follow Donald Trump like a king. Because that's not what we do on our side, bro. You know what I'm saying? We could fucking take down the president and rise up a bunch of senators and congressmen because the president don't have shit to fucking do with all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we are woke. You get what I'm saying? We're not corporate brain dead, useless, corporate zombie sex late motherfuckers play. So any motherfucker way. To Carson, Fox News, eat shit. And uh, if you want civil war and die slow, that's on you. All I know is we're ready for whatever fucking corporate demon sex late fucking behavior you guys want to do. We're on the left to left or wide right awake and uh, ready for anything you brain dead corporate zombies want to fucking get off your chest, player. Uh, so, any motherfucking way, I'm gonna go smoke my motherfucking way. Sip a little fucking. <laughs> absolutely. And you know, go live my life as a fucking American. Absolutely.